winter they're moving down because the glacier is warmer than the air temperature. Ice worms navigate through tiny ice cracks to find ideal conditions within the glacier. They could be anywhere, even at the bottom of a giant crevasse. Prime ice worm habitat, but dangerous ground for humans. The walls are 50 feet high. The snow around the edge of a crevasse can be highly unstable. I don't want anybody to get anywhere near the edge unless we know it's a checked safe spot. At least 10 people have fallen into crevasses in Denali and died. It is possible. I don't like it. It's very inconsistent. I fell up to my waist a couple of times in it. I remain optimistic. A rare view from inside a glacier. Sometimes they'll just be on the surface. Um, but they're, quite remarkably, they're able to penetrate this high density ice. It's really quite amazing. They can get in quite easily. I don't see any. Nature's ready made hole is a bust. To find ice worms, they'll have to change tack. They head back to where the pilot first spotted ice worms to dig through the snow that covers the glacier. They dig and dig. How deep are you, Dan? Can't tell. 20 feet into the snow. Those worms are. Here's the ob. This looks like the fern. Fern line around here. So we're a good two feet below the fern line. This half inch line of compacted dirt and ice marks the snow that fell since summer. It shows Dan that 10 feet has fallen here in just a few weeks. You'd figure we'd pick the, just the year to try to do this when they got the most snow. Somewhere out here, millions of ice worms move silently through the ice. But too much snow has buried the worms. The only option, try again next year. We dug as deep as we could go, and they seem to be deeper than that. They're here, but they're we're smarter than we give them credit for, I think. I'll be back. <laughs>